A young kid fox that was rescued in southwest Bakersfield last month is back home at the PG&E Service Center. The animal was being treated by the Endangered Species Recovery Program, and 23 ABC's Carlos Correa was there for the homecoming. It's not uncommon to see a San Joaquin kid fox hanging out in the service center of PG&E. The area is large and in an open space with little residential development. So they are protected both federally and by the state. And so uh, if, if one is seen, then you're supposed to, to leave it alone. Just let it carry on its life. It knows how to survive. But a few weeks ago, an employee noticed something terribly wrong with the company's residential kit fox. It had developed some type of skin infection. Because usually the infections are very serious. And so it's a matter of getting them stabilized over the first week. The male fox, about the size of a large cat, was safely captured and brought to the California Living Museum. Wildlife biologists treated the animal and is now being released back to its natural habitat. Oh, what a pretty boy. I, I left the door up and he kind of had his face up against. He was he was definitely ready to go home. He's sniffing the air and I'm sure he knows that this is home. This is where he grew up. Anytime we get a sick animal that we can that we can put back out, it's a success. But you know, this is a really good thing because a lot of these animals um, won't make it unless we can get them early enough. And this one we were able to get early enough to treat him. The kid fox is endangered because of habitat loss and have adapted really well to an urban environment. Biologists say if you see one that's sick, contact the endangered species recovery program. We get called about sick and injured foxes a lot and sometimes they don't make it so this is the moment that we get to come out and let them go and feel good about something that we've done to help the the animal in bakersfield carlos correa 23 abc and calm is monitoring the kit fox's health with a radio collar and biologists plan to keep it on the animal for at least a year sticking with the animal